Who are those people, you might wonder? Well, they're my sister Heike and my brother-in-law Frank. You will meet them in future videos. However, this video is about something else. Audio test number one, forest. Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to Elk Island Park. Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to Elk Island Park. It's an area where there are buffaloes roam, roaming freely and we're going to try to see some and hopefully capture them to show you. The purpose of this video originally was to capture some buffaloes and show you Elk Island Park the way we experienced it as a group. However, it didn't quite turn out like that. So I repurposed this video to demonstrate my new audio setup. I now own a Tascam. This is what it is. And you're going to find out in a minute here if it works and what it does. Yeah, we're actually turned around. We're, we decided we're not going to go through with this. And I kind of regret it. I would have liked to have some footage of the buffaloes. But the problem here is that everybody is complaining about the mosquitoes. <laughs> and I, I have to be honest, I, I've gotten them pretty bad too. There's Barbara, she's itchy. There's Frank and Heike. Well, my name is George Lackig. <laughs> I'm trying out actually my new outdoor sound. This is kind of why I brought all this equipment besides wanting to film the buffaloes. So you can leave me some feedback. I think in the past I've had a lot of problems with my sound period <laughs> on these videos. So what I'm trying out today is the task cam. Uh, let me pull it out, show you. It's recording right now. It's called a task cam DR. Tascam DR10L. Yeah, they say if you have watched any television in the last 10 years or so, you would have heard this mic that I have on my cap. <laughs> I don't know if any of this is true, but I've done my research before I bought this because I really can't afford anymore to have a poor outdoor sound where the wind just destroys my whole video or I want to show you something and when I turn around the sound changes and all this kind of stuff. So this is the point. <laughs> I hope this video kind of clarifies whether it was successful or not. Let me know. This is the point. <laughs> I hope this video kind of clarifies whether it was successful or not. Let me know. This is the point. <laughs> I hope this video kind of clarifies whether it was successful or not. Let me know. Audio test number two, backyard. So here I am again in the backyard. I chose this place because normally when I record here, I always have a lot of background noises on my videos. So this is another test, so to say. I'm recording simultaneously with my Canon camera and with my Tascam, the sound that is. So, once the sound is recorded, believe it or not, that's not the end of it. And maybe I'm being too picky, but I want to get this right. See, the Tascam came with a free award-winning audio repair software. So if I have a lot of background noises on my video, there is a simple one-click fix for this. 
This program is called Isotope. It also has a paid version where, again, there are a lot more options to mess around with the audio. You can actually uh, get a piece of the noise level by itself, let the, uh, let the program analyze it, and then it'll edit the rest of your audio where you're talking according to that noise. So uh, it seems like it's pretty amazing, but then again, I remember a similar feature from Audacity. I've used that in the past. So now I'm using the one-click solution with this to edit the sound. And then because I like the preset or the sound of the um, Canon camera a lot, actually. So in my video editing program, I can actually match the sound to that, but then it's missing all the background noises, which is pretty amazing. But I always have the feeling that the more you filter the noise or the more you filter the sound on your videos, the more it seems like it sounds a bit unnatural, a bit muffled. And I'm trying to minimize that while maximizing the sound quality. And right now there isn't a whole lot of wind, so the sound off the camera is probably not bad at all. The other thing is, usually when I do my videos in the studio, I also have a microphone there that's a fairly good quality and I like the way it records. However, there was always a little bit of echo in my video. This, it kind of helped, uh, helped eliminate that entirely. So, I don't know. I think I still have to tweak this a little bit here and there, but uh, what I'm aiming at is to have some presets in my editing program where it doesn't matter what I use to record the sound. I have something that I can do with it with one click to get the best sound out of it that I possibly can. And uh, well, uh, so far it's, it's still a, a trial and error kind of system. Anyways, uh, like I said before, you can give me some feedback. Which sound do you like better? Probably gonna confuse me some more. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the goal is to, to get it right so that this channel doesn't have an audio problem anymore. Thank you very much for your help. Pushing that like button. And have you subscribed yet? Hey, it's free. Sweet video body. So consider it. Here are more videos. Check them out. Ha ha ha. Yeah, bad, bad.